Today I will show you how you can create a super nice grid background and it will only take a few minutes after we have created it once. You can repeatedly use it in future projects by simply dragging and dropping it into your timeline. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into the fusion page. And here we will prepare our node tree by adding a few nodes. Press shift space to open the select toolbox and add an ellipse mask, add a background node, add a grid node and add a lens distort. Now drag the lens distort to the front and connect it to the media out. Then get the grid node, put it into the lens distort, the background node into the grid node and the ellipse mask into the grid mask input. Now it should look like this. Then go into the ellipse and increase the width. And the height will be decrease. Then I will go to the soft edge and drag it all the way up to 0.2. Next we will click on the grid node and change a few settings. For the row cells I will increase them to 15. The column cells I will increase to 25. The major line spacing stays the same. For the line color I will select a gray tone. These two values stay the same. The major line width, you can see there are smaller lines and thicker lines and the major line width changes the width of the thicker lines. So let's change it to one. And now every line is the same thickness. And the rest of the values stay the same. Then we will click on the lens distort and change the mode from undistort to distort. And on the lens distortion model, we will expand this option we will change the distortion minus 0 0.15. Now you can see the edges distort to the front. If you don't want it to be that intense, you can simply reduce it maybe to minus 0 0.1. And that's already it for the background. You could add some things like a soft glow. Let's put it here. Then our lines will have a small glow or you can go to the background node and change the background color or dark blue. Now I will quickly show you how you make this into a preset and use it in future projects. There's two ways. You can create a preset for the fusion page and a preset for the edit page. For the fusion page you select all nodes without the media out node then you will right click go to macro create macro now you can set the ticks to all options you need. For example, if you want to change the background in the future, you go to the background and under the color tab, you can just select these color options. And then you will be able to change these on the inspector. And then you have to click on these three dots and save it. I won't do this right now because I already have a template. And you can just use it by pressing shift space and search for it. I've called my grid background. And if I add it, it's here. And I will demonstrate it to you. If I connect this to the media out, I have my grid background here. Mine is quite dark. You can't see the grid lines as well. So I can go in here and you can see I've created some options for myself. For example, I can change the background color to white. Now I will show you how you can create this for the edit page. Let's connect the media out to the original background again. Then go to the edit page. And now you can create a folder in the media pool. And here's this power bins option. If you can't see this, I've made a video on how to enable it. I will link this in the info card. You can create a new folder. I've called this template and then you drag and drop your fusion composition in here and you can give it a name, grid background. And then in future projects, you can just take it from the power bins and drop it in here. That's it for this video. If you need any more help, write a comment and I will see you in the next one.